Mount View Sanitary District completed a systems reliability study in 2011 that identified and ranked the projects needed to improve the overall reliability of the district's wastewater treatment facility. We learned the most critical issue was the raw sewage pump station. This pump station was undersized for wet weather flows and the potential for flooding pump motors and electrical equipment in the dry pit was high in the event of piping failure. Additionally, the instrumentation and electric systems were approaching the end of their useful lives and we weren't confident in the accuracy of historical data. To add to the challenges we faced with this facility, the dry pit was very small and located directly beneath the treatment plant control building, so operator access to the dry pit was a safety concern. We knew we needed to upgrade this system, but cost was going to be an issue because the engineer's estimate for overhauling the facility was $3 million. If we built a new pump station, it would cost $4 million. Our budget was $1 million, so we knew we had to be creative to solve this problem. The district decided that rehabilitating the existing pump station had to work within the budget they had and worked with West Yost Associates to come up with a creative solution to address the issue. Together we determined that since the capacity issue was limited to wet weather, we could get a trailer mounted pump to serve as a backup pump to provide firm wet weather capacity and we also made upgrades to the manhole upstream of the pump station that would allow for easy setup of the backup pump for the wet weather season. The electrical equipment and motors of two existing self-priming centrifugal pumps were located such that they were subject to flooding in the event of a failure in the dry pit. This potential risk was addressed by replacing these two existing pumps with two new submersible pumps installed in a dry pit application. The new submersible pumps will continue to operate even if the pump room is completely flooded. The district elected to keep a large Fairbanks Morse long shaft pump dating back to 1968 due to its historic reliability. The two new dry pit pumps and the trailer mounted pump increased the pump station's firm capacity from 5.8 to 10 MGD. This approach also capitalized on the success of the district's INI improvement program that included recent projects in the collection system. Wet weather flows getting to the influent pump station are anticipated to be lower in the future, so why invest in future capacity that we aren't likely to need? Additionally, the new trailer mounted pump can be used in the collection system for bypasses and other pipeline emergencies, really giving the district a lot of bang for our capital bucks. This project helped us increase our capacity, made the influent pump station safer and more reliable, and was completed for a cost of $1,027,000, saving us $2 million over the original engineer's cost estimate. This allows the district to invest the savings in other critical infrastructure projects.